Mayor Glenn Robertson, Mayor of Our Fair City, Lubbock, Texas. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the program. Thanks for uh, joining us this morning. Good morning. Hey, uh, anyway, I'm just going to ask you the question. Okay. There, there's this like cloud following you, the dust cloud following you around like Pigpen on Charlie Brown. Are you going to run for United States Congress District 19? I haven't made my mind up. I, Tom, I've been approached. Uh, I was approached a couple of years ago and, and decided that the time went right. I've been approached again very recently, as early as December. Uh, some people read into, read, tried to read between the lines that stayed the city address and decided that I was running. Uh, I'm considering it, but I will tell you it's, uh, it's a long ways off. Right now, my job is Mayor of Lubbock, and that's what I'm trying to focus on. Okay, let's say hypothetically that you decide <laughs> you're going to dive into this thing. Realistically, you're not a moment too soon because in order to get your ducks in a row and move things forward, you'd have to mobilize things in the next 60, 90 days, yes? Yeah, I think to have a realistic campaign, you'd have to hit the ground running by April, uh, May at the very latest. Uh, so no, I think for anybody that's seriously considering, they, they need to be looking at it very hard right now, which, uh, you know, and that's really all I'm doing at this point is weighing options, trying to figure out where I could be the most effective. Okay. Uh, earlier in the conversation we had, uh, you said that you were basically happy with what you're doing right now. Uh, as the mayor, you feel like you're making a difference, making some forward progress. Right. Uh, what do you think that you could bring to the table if you were a United States congressman? Yeah, I think the, the, the main thing would be uh, agricultural background and understanding of cotton farming and the process and how tough that that, that industry has gotten. Uh, and, and other than that, I'd say leadership. I, I, I think the one thing that, that, that I've been uh, disappointed with, and I'm, and I'm not specifically talking about our congressman, but I'm just talking about Congress as a whole, uh, is a, a lack of leadership in the last 10 to 15 years, and we've got to figure out a way to get that back. This is one thing that sticks in my craw and is still there every time we get a little more revelation knowledge about the Affordable Care Act. You know, a lot of people are saying, well, Nancy Pelosi said that we had to pass it before we find out what's in it. But, you know, it was our representatives and our senators that passed this thing to go ahead and, and get it through so we would find out what's in it, to me, that was insanity. Well, and, and now after the fact, everybody's sitting there, you know, I mean, you know, whining about it, and nobody really wants... everybody's whining about well, it. Well, but what I'm saying is, is whining, whining about the way that it went down. Well, I mean, a lot of the people that are whining about it were the people that voted for it. I think the, the biggest problem that we've got right now in, in D.C. is the fact that we've got the party both parties, dictating to the elected officials uh, and how to vote and what to vote on. And I think part of the problem is is that we have turned discussions like health care into a political fight between the parties instead of the elected officials trying to get in there and do what is best for the citizens. Thank you. Uh, they're too concerned with what's do- doing what's best for the parties and the gulf between the two parties is the widest I've ever seen. Uh, we are to a point where if we get anything done at all in D.C., it is catastrophic because uh, it, it's been nothing but a fight. So, uh, you know, I will agree that, that our health care system is a wreck uh, and something has to be done about it. But, but if we're going to look at it, we have to look at the facts, try to solve the problem, and not turn it into political gain for one party or the other. Okay, uh, Mayor, many times I've seen you sit there on the dais and say, hey, you know what? And, and a lot of times on an interview here in, in the studio, uh, morning after, you know, you sit there and say, you know what? It's our responsibility. We're to blame. We're wrong. We're accountable. That's right. Um, how do you think that message will resonate among members in the House and the Senate if you do pursue that, if you get elected and say, guys, come on, it's time to you know go to the bathroom and wash the egg off your face. Well, and I don't know so, so much at times that, that you address people and explain to them that it's their fault. I think as long as you're discussing it in the in the tone that it's us, we've, we've got a problem, we have to come together, we have to fix it. Uh, I, I think a lot of it is truly just approach. My concern now is if... if We've got a representative in Congress that's been there 10, 12, 14 years 
you should be in a position of extremely strong leadership. You should have coalitions built. You should be able to get things done for your district, for the people that you represent. And, you know, there's ways of doing that. And, and yes, there are times that, that, that politics is ugly, and there's times that uh, you just have to come out and, and literally get in front of the problem and address it extremely vocally. But there's other times that you have to try to pull people together and realize that it, one person's not going to fix the problem in D.C. It's going to take a, uh, a lot of folks working together, trying to make sure they're doing what's right for the people they were voted to, to represent. Well, I guess one way or another, you'll be running in 2016, yeah? You know, I will be. I, I, like I said, I love the job I'm doing now. I love, I love being mayor. That's, that's the hardest thing uh, for me to look at when considering a potential another job is the fact that I really like what I'm doing and I love Lubbock and, and I've, I've loved the experience I've had. Uh, but I will be running for either mayor or Congress. I don't know which yet. I'll, I'll make my mind up before the uh, early summer and uh, I won't be bashful about it when I make my decision. Okay. Uh, hopefully we can get you to make it make your announcement here, um, if you would. I, I One more question. Yes, sir. In the middle of all of this discussion and the whirlwind of will he, won't he, the controversy, if you will, how's your wife handling this? Is she looking at you like you're some sort of stark raving lunatic? Was this her idea to get you out of the house? That's the question. <laughs> you know, uh, there may be something to that. I will tell you that, you know, I'm blessed to have a lot of support with my family. Uh, she knows how I'm wired and that I and passionate and that when I get on to something I really want to go and I want to go 110%. I will tell you that the only other consideration, other than the fact of where do I think I can be the most effective, uh, is her health at this point. Uh, and we, we're going to leave town Sunday, be gone a couple of days, and that's one of the things we're going to do while we're gone is sit down and just have a good discussion uh, about is this the right thing for us as a family moving forward. Sure. Glenn Robertson, mayor of Lubbock, Texas, maybe running for mayor, maybe running for Congress District 19. We'll see about that. Stay in touch with us, okay? Thanks, sir. Thanks for calling. Appreciate that. Mayor Glenn Robertson, we'll see you after a city council meeting week this Friday, I think.